Aloha and welcome to the Joy of Crafting Show brought to you by Ben Franklin Crafts. And as promised, Cheryl wears Cheryl's back and now she has a different project. Hi Cheryl, how are you doing? Hi Joy, fine. Yeah, I really like all your cards that you made. I like visiting your blog and seeing all the different designs. And you have, you have something cute right here. Oh, well thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, this, today I'm going to show how to do a, I guess, you call it like a pulley card? A pulley, pulley card? Pulley slider <laughs> card. Okay. Oh, so if you pull the ribbon, it Oh, pops that out is neat. The, the wording, the sentiments. That is really neat. <laughs> First, you take a piece of cardstock, five and a half by 11, mm -hmm. and you're going to score it at three and three eighths, seven inches, and ten and five eighths. And that's okay. it. Okay. <laughs> so you score it just. Yeah, you score it. And then what you want to do is you want to kind of mark the the back, the inside of it, so you know that this is going to be the inside and this is going to be the outside. Okay. Just pretend if you are using a pattern paper. Oh, okay. Okay, and then um, then you're going to punch, you're going to take your one inch punch, circle punch, uh -huh. and you're going to um, punch a little half moon. Oh, okay. So this is, this is where your... So you can grab the ribbon. Right, this area. is where your... Um, your ribbon is going to be poking through on this. Okay. So <laughs> I have one already made and I already, you know, scored it, folded it, and you're going to put two-way tape here. This is going to hold it. Oh, so it's kind of interesting the way you have it because it's not, it's, you have the little tab that's actually. Right. So this is going to go over this. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. And so the, the pulley, the slider part is going to go on, on here. On that part. Yeah. Okay. So you just take a, a plastic bag, uh -huh. and you're just gonna cut a one inch strip from a plastic bag, oh. about one inch wide. Uh -huh. You can use a ribbon, but this is what we call recycling. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> idea. So you know, I just cut a piece, and it doesn't have to be really straight because it's gonna be on the inside, so nobody's gonna see it. So how long do you have to make it just so that 12, it goes around? Yeah, 12 inches. So one inch by 12? Probably around. about, well, between 12 and a half, 12 inches depends. But you don't want to make it really snug. You, okay. But you want it to, you know, um, fit and enough so that it can pull. You want to put two pieces of double stick tape, double stick tape because uh -huh. you want to make sure that it's, you know, going to hold. Okay. And then you just overlap it. And yeah, you're gonna overlap this. Okay. So this is where you you see you're oh, kind of getting it now, you right? See like a yeah, it's like gonna, a belt, right? On a, like a car <laughs> right. fan belt. Okay, and so <laughs> now we're gonna do the stamping. And so we're gonna be using the Good Fortune stamp set today. I love this stamp set. It's so cute. Because it has the maneki neko, yeah. it has the fans and the lanterns. And so you want to nice. just... I like it. And she looks so happy too. <laughs> you want to <laughs> ink it up and actually it's not really... I'm going to be actually paper piecing this. Okay. So um, if it doesn't come out really that great, <laughs> you know, okay. some of us make mistakes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> So you're gonna first stamp your girl there, uh -huh. and oh, let me use this again. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna do the dress because, like I said, we're gonna be doing paper piecing. Okay. So you just need to um, just get the dress part. So I'm just taking a piece of scrap mm -hmm. here and just stamping the image. Oops. And then you're gonna cut this out with a scissors. You want to cut the kimono. Part just out, one apart. right out. Okay. And until you get this. Oh, okay. So I cut one already, so we have that. And then the next thing is, since I'm already there, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna take your dragonfly. Figure me as well do it all now. Oh, that's right, Jim. There's a butterfly and a dragonfly, and a little cherry blossom. Right. Well, I decided to use the dragonfly. I mean. I like dragonflies. Yeah, I could. I probably could have used the butterfly, but so anyways, you want to just kind of, you know, stamp the the dragonfly, kind of randomly on okay. here. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Oops. And I already have one. Let's, oh. I already have one here that I made. And you piece started and, piecing. Yeah, and I already. So what you do is. Can I see this really close? Sure. That is really cute. The the little um. The little crystal oh, gemstones. Yeah. <laughs> That really uh, makes it pop. It's cute. Yeah. So I mean, I already got this put together. <laughs> okay. But after you cut this out, you would just paste it over her body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like paper dolls. Like paper dolls, right? Okay. So then we'll put this to the side. Okay. And you're gonna need two pieces for the the same. Okay. You know, the part that pulls out. Mm -hmm. And so I, you can take whatever type of stamp words you have. And mm -hmm. I, and this is gonna be for the top part. Okay. Where I'm gonna attach the ribbon. So mm -hmm. I punched a hole here. And this one I put. You're so special. And then the one on the bottom says, "Sending you lots of hugs." Okay. It's and cute. Yeah. And so how you're gonna do it is, let's get a piece of ribbon. Mm-hmm. And you, you want to attach your ribbon first. And you're going to position this like right there, right to the top. Okay. Because when this folds over, let's see, this is the part that's going to pull out. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh -huh. So. So do you just tape it onto? Right. So we're going to tape this on. This part gets kind of tricky. So once again, we're going to put like two pieces of tape. So you have to kind of eyeball it. It's better to put two pieces so that it's um, secure. So, yeah, so it doesn't come off. OK. So you're only putting it down there? No, we're going to, after I do this part will do the other. Huh. Okay, I, I thought about it. I answered my own question. I understand now. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> right, because I was thinking, oh, you have to tape the whole thing down, but you can't. Because then it won't pop out, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why am I having problems? I know. Okay. So you want to, like I said, measure this so just at the top there. Okay. Okay. So that's set. Right. So that's set. And then this part, because it's going to be coming out, this is going to go upside down. Okay. Right? So when you pull this. Oh, okay. 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 So make sure that this is lined up. Okay. When you turn it over. Right. And you turn it over. And this part's gonna be there, so you're gonna you're gonna put this upside down, but you're gonna put the tape over here mm -hmm. because this and is the good. part that's gonna secure it. So when you make that bottom part, you have to make sure that you you don't have your words all the way to the top. Right. So you have to. What I did was I did it about an inch from the bottom. Okay. I stamped it about an inch. So like I said, it's all the placement. So it's best that you kind of um, gauge where where it's at, you know, the bottom of the card, mm -hmm. because you don't want it hanging out, right? Right, because then that would spoil the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That tape really likes you. I know. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. okay. Make sure it's correct. Yeah. Make sure it's all lined up. Hmm. Okay. okay, now, so this part, you want to pull this off, mm -hmm. right? With two way tape. Now, you got to make sure that this all oh, doesn't catch onto that. Yeah, goes over the card, that piece of your stamped image, mm -hmm. your words, and then you just seal it together. See? Oh, that's cool. Okay. 
Okay, and so now we got this piece here. Mm -hmm. And then you can cut out a, I cut out a black piece to mat it on. Okay. And I decided to put like these pop, mini pop dots, but I'm just oh, using, your, your yeah, I'm using up my leftovers. That's a good thing, yeah, yeah. you can use all of it. But just to give it a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, on the black. <laughs> okay, so you're going to put this on. That's just to give it a little height, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're going to take your um, tweet tape, your glue runner. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you just want to center this on the card. On the card front, mm -hmm. this is your decoration. Okay, and I did use um, gemstones. I yeah, that's really cute. I stuck the gemstones that's on, cute. on her OB sash. <laughs> that's right, that's cool. OB right. sash. And then I stamped out the umbrella and I colored it, mm -hmm. you know, ahead of time. And then um, you can put this on her arm. Well, in her hand. In her hand. In her hand, <laughs> arm. Okay. That's a really cute card. And I also put gemstones on here too. Oh, give it a little bling. Yeah. So you can just make it look like she's holding it. Oh. That really actually, when, when you did it, it's actually quite fast. It when is. When you have everything cut out. Right. Yeah. That is so. I want, I want to pull it. That's so neat. That is really cute. Great idea. You always have such great ideas. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So you're going to come back again, right? Yes, I will. Because it's only June. Oh. So, you know, there's many <laughs> more months. Half a year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome. Well, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back.